Hello students, I'm back with the topic Insect Taxonomy Part 2. In Part 1 Insect Taxonomy, I have discussed about the classification of insects, the orders of ametabola insects and the orders of metabola insects as well. And I'm continuing with the same topic today with the orders of Metabola. So the orders to be continued are Socopterans. These Socopterans are known as Socets, Bark Lice, Book Lice. The name is originated from the Greek word Socos, meaning rubbed or gnawed, and Terra, which means the wings, rubbed wings. And the species of the Socopterans are known as book lice. Why? Because they are commonly found among old books. They feed upon the paste using in paste used in binding. And so they are also known as bark lice. Bark lice are found on trees, feeding on algae and lichens. And this, uh, when you look at it, the head is very much prominent. Can you see? The head is very prominent, whereas neck is narrow and it is differentiated from the head and the abdominal region. Two pairs of wings are present. In some species, they are wingless. The tarsi, the tarsi which is present on the legs are two to three segmented. So, especially the morphological and molecular evidence of these socopterans has shown that the parasitic lice they have evolved from the Socopterans. Okay. Some of the Socoids, they are common pests in store products as well. That means they occur in the form of pests or the malophoga. Or the malophoga, these are the insects which are as large as six millimeters. They are wingless creatures. They especially live on the coast, especially birds and mammals. Malophoga consists of about uh, 3,000 species. These act as external parasites that feed mainly on the birds. So that's why they're called as biting lice or bird lice or chewing lice or chicken lice. They invest both domestic and wild animals and birds, cause considerable irritation to their hosts. The mouth parts are chewing or biting type. Look at the head. The head is broad with small antennae, which are short and filiform. And the legs are of clinging type. They, the legs are clinging because they cling on to the parts of the body. That's why the, the legs are clinging type. The eyes are absent or reduced, they are degenerated. The tarsus on the legs is about one or two segments, consisting of one or two segments, that is why right. the tarsi is one or two segmented. Most of the species have two small claws. 
they feed especially on the blood of the organisms siphon kilometer siphon kilometer or also known as sucking lice or mammal lice or human lice an order of secondarily wingless insects this insect consists of head neck and abdomen the head is conical in shape with sectorial mouth parts the consisting of antennae you can see the antennae in this they are short piliform these are short and piliform in nature with 3 to 5 segments the eyes are reduced or they may be absent they are ectoparasites of mammals because they feed on the blood and cause irritation to the host especially human beings and domestic animals and they even transmit diseases including typhoid the tarsi usually is one segment you can see you can find this is the tarsi the tarsi is one segmented which is ending in a single claw in all the three pairs of legs okay so these are uh, this is about the siphon kilata they even cause a disease called typhoid fringe fever and other irritations in the animals as well as human beings hemiptera order hemiptera these insects consist these insects consists of leathery portion of the four wings these hemipterans are considered to be true bugs comprising of about 50000 to 80000 species of groups there are various groups of insects such as cicadas aphids plant hoppers leaf hoppers shield bugs the size of these insects range from 1 mm to around 15 cm and they have common arrangement of mouth parts such as sucking mouth parts piercing and sucking mouth parts many of the insects produce odorous scent odor the body odor because of the presence of scent glands these are considered to be true bugs example bed bugs squash bugs stink bugs water striders assassin bugs aphids hoppers etc the name hem uh, hemiptera is known as partial wings presence of partial wings so here the name heteroptera this is wrong sentence so the name hemiptera is derived from the greek word hemi means half tera means wings the hemiptera or the true bugs so these insects consists of sucking and sucking and biting mouth parts with long filiform antennae the antennae have four to five segments proboscis is three to four segmented arising from the front of the head the legs consists of the tarsi which are two to three segmented the cerci in these insects are absent some of these insects most of these hemipterans feeds on plants 
using their sucking and piercing mouth parts to extract plant sap. Some are hematophagous in nature, while some others are predators and the feed on other, that means the feed on other insects or small invertebrates. They live in wide variety of habitats, generally terrestrial, though some species are adapted to life, you know, or on the surface of the fresh water. The hemipterans or hemimetabolists with young nymphs that somewhat resemble the adults. Many aphids are capable of parthenogenesis, producing young from unfertilized eggs. The human beings have interacted with hemiptera for millennia. Some species, including many aphids, are significant agricultural pests, damaging crops by the direct action of sucking sap and also harms them indirectly by being the vectors of serial viral disease, serious viral diseases. And some of the species have been used for biological control of insect pests. The bed bug is a persistent parasite of human beings and some kissing bugs can transmit various diseases such as Chagas disease, cicadas, they have been used as food because it has appeared in literature from the ancient Greek. So this is about the hemipterans. Okay, so these are the bed bugs, uh, different kinds of cicadas, assassin bugs, aphids. Okay, so homoptera. Homoptera. These are known as plant eaters. Homoptera, the name itself saying homo means equal. Terra means wings. The wings held roof like over the body, equal in shape. Mainly the insects belonging to homopterans are Aphids, scale insects, leaf hoppers, etc. So there are about 32,000 species of homopterans. These are considered to be sucking insects. And they exhibit considerable diversity in the body size. All of the homopterans are plant feeders. They are phytophagous in nature with mouth parts adapted for sucking plant sap. Many homopterans cause injuries or destruction to the plants, including fruits, trees, and grain crops, and can be vectors of plant diseases. A few provide secretions or other products that are beneficial and have commercial value. So these are all hemipterans. Different way, diversity of hemipterans you can see in this picture, ranging from small size to large size. And ranging with different colors, the green, pink, orange, brownish, grayish color, black with stripes, so these are all different insects like hoppers, scale insects, epids. So the plant hoppers, tree hoppers, white flies, epids, jacids, they all come under these homopterans. They have short antennae, which are cetaceous in nature, consisting of piercing and sucking mouth parts. Their body is membranous or hard throughout. The four wings are membranous in nature and they're hard, they're covering the body throughout, the cerci or absent. Okay. So most homopterans range from four to 12 millimeters in length. There are certain species of cicadas in Borneo and Java which are about eight centimeters. 
with wings widespread of about 20 centimeters. Lantern fly is the largest homopteran. And the tiniest homopteran is about 0.5 millimeters, that is 0 0.02 inches in length. They're distributed throughout the world. Especially they are present in North America and about 180 species found in Australia. 200 cicada species present in North America. And there are even uh, only one cicada species is known to be present in Great Britain. So they are cosmopolitan in distribution, but these are certain some of the interesting features of the homopterans. Coming to the Thysanaptera. Thysanoptera means thrips. The name Thysanoptera is derived from the Greek, Greek word Thysanos meaning fringe and Terra means wings. So these are tips, these are minute, they're slender insects with fringed wings, hence the name Thysanoptera. And they're unique asymmetrical, they have unique asymmetr asymmetrical mouth parts. Different trip species feed mostly on the plants by puncturing and sucking up the contents, although a few of them are predators. Entomologists have described approximately 6,000 species of thrips. The antennae are short, form, with six to 10 segments. How is the body? The body is cylindrical in shape, or it may be spindle shaped. The front and hind wings are slender, they're rod-like, you can see in this picture, the front and hind wings are some rod-like with a dense fringe or long hairs. You can see a dense long hairs present on the wings, onto the sides, can you see? Yes. Many species are secondarily wingless. About 6,000 species are described by the entomologists. They fly only weakly and their feathery wings are unsuitable for conventional flight. Rod-like stirpy wings, we can consider that the wings are of rod-like stirpy wings. The end of the abdominal tube present at the abdominal region which is called as ovipositor. Many of these thrips are considered to be the species which are pests of commercially imported crops. A few species serve as vectors for over 20 viruses that cause plant diseases, especially the TOSPO viruses. Some of the thrips, some species of thrips are beneficial as pollinators or as predators of other insects or mites. Next, Neuroptera. Neuropterans are also known as ant lions, dogs on flies, lace wings, alder flies, or snake flies. The name Neuroptera is derived from the Greek word Neuron means sinew and terra means wings. That means net winged insects. Sinew winged insects or net winged insects. These insects 
or about two six thousand sorry six thousand species. This order consists of about six thousand species. The body, when you look at the body, the body is stout. The head is very strong, consisting of cetaceous, long, cetaceous, tough antennae. The mouth parts are also very strong for the chewing mode of mechanism. So uh, chewing mouth parts are present in these insects. The front and hind wings are membranous in nature. The front as well as hind wings are similar in size and shape. They are membranous in the membranous. The head consists of large compound eyes and some of them have ocelli. You can see in the mouth parts, the mouth parts have well-developed mandibles suitable for chewing. Extensive branching of venation is found on the wings. The wings consist of extensive venation. So these are the morphological structures of neuropterans. And some of the insects have bristles onto their wings, which link their wings together during the flight. Some neuropterans have specialized sense organs in their wings or grizzles on their structures of the wings during the flight, helps during the flight. The larva of these neuropterans are specialized predators because of their well-developed mandibles, which are adapted for piercing and sucking more. They're specialized predators. The larval body form varies between different families depending on the nature of the prey. In general, they have three pairs of thoracic legs, which ends with the two claws. The abdomen often has adhesive discs on the last two segments, which helps in attachment. These neuropterans are used in biological control of insect pests because of their predatory nature. Next, siphonopterans. Siphonopterans are small wingless insects having the legs which are used for leaping. The eyes are degenerated or they don't have eyes. They're ectoparasitic on birds and mammals. They are commonly known as fleas. The name Siphonoptera is derived from the Greek word siphon, which means a pipe or a tube. Etera means wingless. It includes about 2,500 species of small flightless insects that survive as external parasites of mammals and birds. Please live by consuming blood. Hence, they are known as hematophagus. They suck the, the, suck, they suck the blood from their hosts. Adult fleas grows to about three millimeters long. They're usually brown in color. You can see the color of this fleas. Dark brown in color. Having flattened sideways or narrow, enabling them to move to their course. The body is flattened sideways or narrow, enabling them to move to their course for or feathers. They lack wings, but have strong claws. 
you can see the claws, preventing them from being dislodged. Mouth parts are adapted for piercing and sucking, especially they pierce the skin and suck the blood. And hind legs extremely well adapted for jumping. They are able to leap a distance of about 50 times their body length. They are short, they have short cetaceous antennae. Body is bilaterally flattened. Mouth parts are piercing and sucking. Large bristles or tinea are present on the head and thoracic regions. Hind femur is enlarged, adapted for jumping. That's why I said hind legs are adapted for jumping. These, the flea larvae are worm-like with no limbs. They feed on organic debris left on the host skin. They spread different kinds of diseases. And they serve as a vectors for various diseases. Okay. Order Coleoptera. These are the largest, this is the largest order of the insects. The largest order of the animals in the world belongs to Insecta, class Insecta, Phylum Arthropoda. So these coleopterans are commonly known as beetles. Biting and chewing more parts are present in these insects. They belong to superorder Endoterigota. Carrion beetles, wiggling beetles, dung beetles. You can see these are all perculin beetles, fireflies, lady beetles, horn beetles. So various species of beetles are found throughout the world. About the coleoptera with about 400,000 species are present amongst the world is considered to be the largest of all the orders. Constituting almost 40%, almost 40 of described insects and 25% of all known animal life forms. New species are discovered frequently. The largest of all families is the Curculinidae is the weevils, where 83,000 member species belong to this order, found in almost every habitat except the sea and the polar regions. They interact with the ecosystem in several ways. The name Coleoptera derived from the Greek words Coleos meaning sheath and Terra meaning wings. Sheath like wings are present in these insects, the hard wings are present in these insects, which are called as sheath wings, especially in beetles and weevils. It is the largest order in the class insecta, as we know. Most beetles have a hard, dense exoskeleton. They have chewing mouth parts, sometimes located at the tip of the beak. You can see the head thorax and abdomen well differentiated. The head is smaller when compared to that of the thorax and the abdomen. The head consists of antennae and three pairs of legs with the tarsi, two to five segmented. You can see in this picture. The front wings are known as elytra. The front Four wings are modified to hard structures. They are known as elytra. They serve to cover the hind wings. And they meet in a line down the middle of the back. You can see the median line here. 
this is the median line this is the four wings covering even the hind wings as well these are hard structures known as elytra these are found in almost all the habitats as i've said the beetles often feed on plants and fungi break down animal and plant debris and eat other invertebrates as well some species or agricultural pests such as colorado potato beetle while others such as coccinellida or they are called as lady birds or lady bugs eat aphids these are lady birds or lady bugs okay so they eat the aphids aphids of the pests of various agricultural crops or the scale insects these beetles they feed on scale insects thrips aphids and other pests which are harmful for the plants and those which damage the crops these are considered some of these uh, beetles are considered to be biological agents because they are eating all this pests which are unwanted for the human beings another order which is called as strepti strepsiptera strepsiptera derived from the greek word which means strepsi meaning turned or twisted and tera meaning wings the insects consisting of twisted wings are known as streptiserans stylopods streptiserans comes under this order these are endoterigotes which includes about 600 described species the body is divided into three parts and the unique feature of this insect is consisting of large fan shaped hind wings you can see in this picture fan shaped club shaped the four wings are present in this insects so the four wings forms halters the four wings here are known as halters the mouth parts are vestigial and chewing mouth parts females of most of the species do not emerge from the host after entering in its body some of them some of the streptiserans act as endoparasites when they emerge inside they do not come out especially the females the antennae when you look at in this insect it is about 4 to 7 segmented with lateral branching the antennae are flabate flabellate the flabellate type of antennae present the eyes are compound eyes large compound eyes you can see large compound eyes halters these are halters fan shaped hind wings the four wings are in the form of halters these are known as small rudimentary parts like structures are known as halters flabellate antenna is present compound eyes are well developed which are in the form of protruded eyes this order is not well known to non specialists and the wings because of the twisted uh, the wings are is in a twisted manner these are known as twisted wing parasites adult males are very short lived usually survives less than 5 hours and do not feed that's why we are called we are saying vestigial mouth parts that means 
mouth parts in males are vestigial because they don't feed they die within hours females in all family families except in meningealidae family are known to leave their hosts and are neotenic in form lacking wings legs and eyes virgin females release the pheromones which the males use to locate them okay this is about septicerans mecoptera mecoptera the name mecoptera is derived from the greek word meco meaning long and tera meaning wings the mecoptera is an order of insects with belonging to endoterigota about 600 species are present in mecopterans and these are also known as scorpion flies or hanging flies because the males have enlarged genitals which looks similar like the stingers of the scorpions you can see the genitals that is the last posterior portion of this males is sting is like a sting which is looking like a scorpion that's why these are known as scorpion flies and they have beak like rostra this is beak you can see this is a beak like rostra in the front and sting like genitals in the posterior region due to this this appearance they are called as scorpion flies so the head is elongated with slender chewing mouth parts the front and hind wings are narrow the front wings and hind wings are narrow they are elongate and similar in size the cross wings are in the wings are numerous the legs the tarsi consisting of tarsi region is five segmented males of some of the species have enlarged genitalia which is recurved like the scorpion's tail as i said now with a raised abdomen you can see the abdomen which is raised in the form of an concavity so convex convexity the raised abdomen is present in this insects with long narrow equal or similar wings so some of them uh, some of the insects are are like hanging flies belonging to another prominent family of this mecopterans majority of these insects they inhabit the moist environments in tropical locations these are closely related to siphonopterans fly like appearance being small to medium sized insects with long slender bodies and narrow membrane membranous wings they feed mostly on the vegetable matter non feeding pupae they may they may pass through the diapause until the weather conditions are favorable they are, they vary in length from 2 to 35 mm there are about 600 extant species known they are cosmopolitan in distribution next order is dipterans so we are very much familiar with its dipterans the dipterans are also known as true flies these insects of order diptera the name is originated from the greek diptera means consisting of two wings di means two tera means wings diptera single pair of fly wings is present the hind wings are balancing wings 
the two pairs of wings where four wings are known as the wings of flight the hind wings are known as wings of balance hence no the name diptera the larvae are legless which are known as maggots the examples of this order diptera are mosquitoes fruit flies house flies horse flies blow flies flesh flies Diptera is a large order consisting an estimated more than 1 lakh species including horse flies crane flies cover flies and the other species which i said now these dipterans have mobile head with a pair of large compound eyes and mouth parts designed for designed for piercing and sucking like mosquitoes black flies and robber flies or for lapping and sucking in other groups sponging in some other groups their wing arrangement gives them great maneuverability in flight flies on drugo complete metamorphosis the mouth with the antennae or filiform stylate or aristate type mouth parts are not only sectorial but also piercing type sucking type sponging type as well the mesothorax consisting of larger major part than the pro and the metathorax hind wings are reduced which are known as halters the fore wings are well built for flying the tarsi are five segmented dipterans is one of the major insect order and of considerable ecological and human importance right look at the dipterans house flies blow flies horse flies mosquitoes so these are all the insects which spread various diseases these insects as act as vectors these insects are considered to be the insects of uh, medical importance because various diseases are caused through these insects and some of them are important pollinators second only to the bees and hymenopterans relatives some of the flies even helps in pollination like fruit flies and some of the insects like mosquitoes or vectors for malaria dengue west nile fever yellow fever encephalitis and other infectious infectious diseases and house flies commensal with humans all over the world they spread food borne illness flies can be annoyances especially in some parts of the world where they can occur in large numbers buzzing and settling on the skin or eyes to bite or seek fluids larger flies like sesi flies and screw worms cause significant economic harm to the cattle blow fly larvae known as gentles and other dipteran larvae known more generally as maggots are used as fishing bait and as food for carnivorous animals they are also used in medicine in debridement to clean wounds so this is about dipterans next trichopterans trichopterans are also known as caddis flies the caddis flies 
or a group of insects with aquatic larvae and terrestrial adults. The name Trichoptera derived from the Greek words trichos meaning hair and terra meaning wings. Hairy wings, the presence of hairy wings is seen in this caddis flies. There are approximately about 14,500 described species of trichopterans, especially based on the adult mouthparts. They were subdivided and divided into different suborders. They have cetaceous antennae. The mouthparts are reduced or vestigial, especially the males have vestigial mouthparts. The two pairs of wings, which are clothed, consisting of long hairs, are present, with held tent like over the abdomen. The wings are covering the whole of this abdomen, the whole body as well as the sides of the abdomen is covered by the wings. And hence the wings are considered to be tent-like. These are closely related to the Lepidopterans. Lepidopterans, what are Lepidopterans? Moths and butterflies which have scales on their wings. These insects also have scales on their wings. So that's why they resemble like moths. The aquatic larvae are found in a variety of habitats such as streams, rivers, lakes, ponds, springs, seeps, and temporary waters. The larvae of many species use silk to make protective cases. Most adults have short lives during which they do not feed. That's why the mouth is vestigial in these insects. The larvae exhibit various feeding strategies with different species being predators, leaf shredders, algal grazers, or collectors of particles from the water column and benthos. So this is about trichopterans. Lepidoptera. So Lepidopterans, the English common names are known as moths and butterflies. So according to Greek, Greek names, the lepis means scale, teron means wings. The insects with scale-like wings are known as lepidopterans. Lepidopterans is an order of insects that includes butterflies and moths. About 180,000 species of the Lepidopterans are described in 126 families and 46 superfamilies. 10% of the total described species of the living organisms. It is one of the most widespread and widely recognizable insect orders in the world. It occurs in all the continents except Antarctica. It has largest diversity or highest diversity in the tropical regions. The antiquity about this Lepidopterans is, the fossil record of Lepidopterans is sparse. Earliest known fossil is Archaeolepis main from the Jurassic of Dorset in England.
So Lepidoptera orders, these insects have two wings joined together with the proboscis, the mouth parts are modified, mm -hmm. consisting of modified mouth parts in the form of a proboscis and they spin some of these uh, Lepidopterans, they spin the cocoons as well, especially the butterflies and moths are the important uh, insects found from this order. You can see colorful, beautiful insects from the Lepidopterans. Lepidopterans derived from the Greek words Lepidio for the scale and the terra for their wings. The scale wings creatures are known as Lepidopterans, especially consisting of moths and butterflies. It is the second largest order in, of the class insecta. The first order is the Polyoptera, and the second one is the in, uh, is Lepidopterans. The mouth parts are of coil tube-like structure, which is called as a proboscis, and because of this nature, it is able to siphon the food. And the food is in the form of a nectar, which is sucked, sucked or siphoned through the proboscis. So this is a feature which is present in moths and butterflies. The antennae is of clavid type and moths in moths it is thread-like, spindle-shaped or comb-like, whereas in butterflies it is clavid type. The front wings, this is, these are the four wings which are large, triangular and the hind wings are fan-shaped. The body and wings are covered with small overlapping scales. These are the scales which are present on the wings of this butterflies and moths. So they belong to various uh, families. Some of these butterflies, like milkweed butterflies, belonging to Danaidae family. This is whites and sulfurs. They're known as whites and sulfurs belonging to Pyridae. And this is a common gull, which is white in shape. The skippers, these are called as skippers, which belong to Hesperidae family. These are called as fallow tails because the hind wings, you can see the tail-like structures which are present on the hind wings, these are known as fallow tails, belonging to Papillonidae family. And these are the great purple hair streak, or these belonging to Lysinidae. This is a corner blue butterfly, again belongs to the Lysinidae, which is blue blue butterflies, hence they are also known as, commonly known as blues. And these are butterflies and coming to the moths, clothes moths. These are belong to the Tenidae. Burrowing babworm moths, belonging to Acro, Acrolophidae. This is a moth. Clear wig moths belonging to Sessidae. Snout moths of Pyrelidae. Emperor moths and giant silk moths. These moths especially are called as silk moths belonging to Saturnidae. These are the, uh, beautiful moths and uh, some of the moths are very beautiful and most of the butterflies, almost all the butterflies are very beautiful. So these are the leaf roller moths which looks like a re leaves you can see the leaf, the scale-like leafy structures, which are in the form of a wings, belonging to Torticidae. And this is known as Planthopper, which are, these are the parasitic moths. And uh, you can see the antennae are modified here for the parasitic mode, which belong to the Epipheropidae family. And these are the silk moths, and this is the silk moth larvae, especially the Bombyx mori, Bombyx mori larvae. And this is the adult of Bombyx mori, which produces the silk Bombycidae belonging to the family Bombycidae. Hymenopterans. Hymenopterans are the ants, wasps, bees, sawflies, hauntets belong to the order Hymenoptera. The name Hymenoptera is derived from the Greek word hymen, meaning membrane. Terra means wings. Membranous wings are seen in these kinds of insects, hence they are known as hymenopterans. These consist of chewing mouth parts because they, except in bees, they are 
the siphoning mouth parts except in bees most of these insects have chewing mouth parts where maxillae and labium form the proboscis for collecting ne nectar in bees lapping siphoning and lapping or sucking or lapping type of mouth parts in other insects whereas most of these hymenopterans consist of chewing mouth parts the eyes are compound very well developed the vision is clear with and the legs the legs consisting of tarsi usually five segmented with five triangular stigma in front of the front wings the wings are not present in this ant because it is not an uh, queen ant the queen ant and the king ants they have wings whereas the worker ants doesn't have wings so geniculate antennae the antennae are of geniculate type and they have these uh, insects whether they are ants wasps bees saw flies they have different kinds of mouth parts such as sucking mouth parts licking mouth parts chewing mouth parts this uh, hymenopterans this hymenopterans have small wings and the ovipositor sometimes modified into a stinger piercing or saw so in honey bees the posterior part is developed in the form of a sting so which with the help of a sting it protects itself from the enemies and whichever comes in contact with its honey combs and it stings and these some of these insects especially are social and solitary species some of them are solitary some of them are social ants honey bees they are considered to be social insects wasps some of the wasps are solitary species so especially the examples are ants honey bees and wasps not only honey bees but the other bees are also the bumble bees are also present which are solitary in nature hymenopterans they are oldest definite members of the group from triassic of australia central asia and african region they are present almost all over the world there are about approximately if about 132000 recognized species all over the world except there uh, in antarctica there are their distribution is uh, absent in antarctica they are present all over the world so major features of this hymenopterans are the membranous wings the orthognathous head consisting of large compound eyes multi segmented antennae with three ocelli mouth parts adapted for chewing and biting but and uh, it is of different type in honey bees the diversity of lifestyle is found which we have already discovered described and that is solitary in some of this insects and social they are social animal social insects they are herbivores or carnivores or some of them are parasitic in nature and saw flies they they are also known as conifers saw flies and common saw flies these are of major families and these are of social wasps belonging to the family vespidae so you can see these are paper wasps yellow jackets these are names of the wasps the social wasps social bees these are the social insects honey bees belonging to the family epidae they are bumble bees as well as honey bees belonging to the epidae parasitic wasps are also present belong to the family achenomidae largest hymenopteran family is the achenomidae consisting of wasps extensively wasps are present and the parasite parasitoid of epids are present in eukaryotidae family they are also wasps and ants they belong to the family formicidae consists of different species of ants hundreds thousands of species of ants the solitary bees belong to the megachilidae family and anthropo anthropoidae they are called as leaf cutting bees and carpenter bees you can see these bees here leaf cutting bees and carpenter bees so major features of this uh, insects major features of the insects of uh, that is the butterflies the butterflies we have already discussed about this the butterfly of they belonging to the family nymphaeidae brush footed butterflies they includes filetaries admirals emperors and tortoise shells 
the four wings and hind wings are like frenulum or jugnum the mouth parts are coiled proboscis larvae and caterpillar are herbivorous in nature familiar insect orders which have we have studied just now are belonging to the hymenopterans especially bees wasps ants and many social species are present in hymenoptera polyopteran beetles or beetles polyoptera consisting of all beetles lepidoptera consists of moths and butterflies orthoptera consists of grasshoppers crickets and locusts diptera especially consists of fruit flies mosquitoes gnats house flies and so on and so forth so among these familiar insect orders we find beneficial insects harmful insects as well and which interact with the human and the environment this is about the classification and taxonomy of insects so this is the insect collection so when the insect is collected it is mounted here in a box and it is pinned each of the insect is pinned inside the box and they are well preserved so when seen under this uh, i piece the insect is clearly visible so that is another topic how to maintain and how to store the how to catch the insect and how to maintain them in a, a box and how to store them how to pin them that is all another topic so this is all about the taxonomy of insects so you can transform yourself but insects will always do it better okay so thank you